Hey guys, what's going on? Coming at you with a Wednesday morning video. Before I get into this video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment below. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I talk about the stock a lot. I feel like it's one of the best deals in the market right now for where we're at. So let me get into this video today. We're gonna to talk about Corsair Gaming, ticker CRSR. If you haven't watched previous videos, I'm a long-term investor. <clears throat> this is a top three position of mine. I've been adding to it for the past nine to 10 months, basically. So I've been adding to it for a while, averaging costs down basically from when I started buying it. I started buying it, I believe at $35, $36. I've been slowly chipping away at it to uh, drive the cost base down. Yesterday, the market had, it opened up red, primarily like 90% red when it opened up. And then uh, the Fed had a meeting and it was super long. I actually watched the whole entire thing. I think it was like two hours long. And there was a lot of, uh, you know, blaming between parties and uh, really, I mean, I'll give you my take at the end, but um, you know, really what I did yesterday was when the market opened up before the meeting, you know, I saw a massive correction in Corsair. I bought at $27 and six cents. And then after the meeting, it went down even farther and I bought at $26.75. So my cost base now has moved down to $30.25. So the amount I bought total between these two is about 10%. So I had about like a 5%, maybe like a, like a four to 5% window of how much I wanted to build this position. I don't like holding more than 15% weight of any account in my portfolio. This one is at like 15, 16% right now. So basically, um, you know, with the added 10% of my position, I'm basically where I want to be in the stock long term. I'm super happy with a cost base of $30.25. The stock right now is $26.64 as it closed yesterday. You know, will I buy more? I mean, if it goes under $26.50, this is probably something I will have to buy more. That would be basically, uh, what was it, April or May lows. So you'd be I mean, that was the lowest point in the market this year, basically. So if it goes to that point, you know, I'll probably buy a little more. Do I think it will go there? Possibly. So, you know, it's just something that, you know, I'm prepared for. I made a video yesterday saying I had 35% cash, so I'm very cash heavy. So I'm willing to keep averaging costs down if the, you know, if the price gets that, that, uh, that great. Now, if it goes up off 2664 for me personally, I probably won't buy more unless it's even a better deal. So it's got to go down there at 14 cents. So, you know, if you're, if you haven't bought this stock or want to look into it, you know, it's a great stock for a long-term uh, investment and buying at $26 is, I mean, that's great. I mean, I, you know, I think the stock hit close to 40 at, at highs. This stock will easily in the next couple of years be anywhere from a 60 to an $80 per share stock. Uh, that's my opinion based on just, you know, the gaming industry is ridiculous, streaming is ridiculous. It's, it's definitely a industry that's going to strive in the future. So that's one of my bullish reasons on the stock. The management team's great, balance sheet's good, great products. So my thoughts basically, you know, I just basically said it. If it goes to the 2650 or less, I will most likely be buying again. I will actually probably be buying a little heavier than 10%. I'll see what the market's doing. And, you know what's going on but it you know don't be surprised if i bought like 15 to even 20 percent and just went over my normal weight i like sitting at when i have a position fully built out because the deal is just so good so market in general you know the feds had a meeting yesterday there was a lot of pointing so i think they're gonna they gotta get a deal done to to allow more debt i mean that's bottom line what they have to do I, I think they're, it's kind of like a game of chicken right now. I think that they want the Republican Party basically to get in there so they don't, you know, exercise their last, you know, basically all, you know, the House, Senate and President are all Democrats. So they want to save, you know, really the powers to pass the, the, um, the $3.5 trillion bill that also needs to get done. So, it, it, you know, there's a lot of arguing going back and forth, but I think it will get done. I think the market panicked super heavy for that very reason, because there is uncertainty. So when there's uncertainty, people panic, people freak out and get out of the market. So as of right now, it, you know, is it guaranteed they're gonna get something done by next Monday? No. Uh, do I think, I, I think there's a 90% chance they will. I mean, they kind of have to. Um, if they want social security, if they want, um, you know, all the federal, what is it, social security, 
um, I believe some child support stuff and a bunch of other things. I mean, it'd be really bad for, for, for the US economy and really the world economy because people look up to us as like the dollar being the strongest, you know, physical value thing in the world. So they got to get it done. So, you know, how I look at it is, you know, if the market goes down, I have no problem taking advantage of these really good deals. If they do get something done, the market rallies up again, because if it gets done, the market's going to bounce right back. So that's kind of how I think what's going to happen. So either way, I mean, I'm totally fine with it because I have a bunch of cash. Um, usually also when the S&P pulls back, like just this year, it won't go below a 5% pullback, right? So right now we're at 2%. So I could see another market sell off tomorrow or the next day, maybe equaling another two, but I bet you it won't go below 5% because there's so much money in the system that's just sitting on the sidelines and people will take advantage of these deals and prop it right back up. So just keep that in mind. I mean, it's not a normal year. There's a lot of cash, you know, laying around. So I think, you know, companies will, especially like big uh, Wall Street will, you know, they're gonna, if it gets around the 5% area, they're just gonna pump it right back up. So it's all short-term stuff. I mean, we'll definitely get through it. People have some uncertainties also about inflation. I personally think it's still transitory. There's a lot of supply chain bottlenecks going on right now. So you gotta keep that in mind. I mean, this year we're gonna have 5% inflation. Next year, it probably won't be back to 2 to 2.5% like they're projecting. I think it's gonna be closer to probably three and a half. But I mean, it's all due to supply chain bottlenecks and people not, you know, getting back to work and stuff like that. I mean, it's all short term stuff if you think of the grand scheme of things. If you buy a stock and you're in it for three to 10 years, this is all short term stuff. Like, you know, it's really nothing to worry about. It's actually easier, in my opinion, to buy when a stock dips heavy that you like. And it's the whole market doing it. So that way you don't, you're not in the back of your mind like, oh, is it a fundamental thing? Is it something they said? Is it something they did? You know, when the whole market pulls back, if you like this company, it makes it very easy to buy. So it's kind of how I look at it when I, when I buy things. It, it, it's easier to buy, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So that's all I got till tomorrow. Again, make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. I'm going to try to shoot for 700 subs for October. So if you hit the subscribe button, it's much appreciated. Till tomorrow. Peace.